What do you mean by the term block diagram representation of a particular control system? Well, my name is Rishi Ramju and welcome to the Backbench Engineering community where I make engineering easy for you. So, let us ask yourself that obvious question. What do you actually mean by the term block diagram representation of a control system? Well, let's find out. So, block diagram representation of a control system. Just like the name suggests, this is a way in which we can represent a particular control system using block diagrams. That is, the pictorial representation of a control system using block diagrams is simply what we refer to as a block diagram representation of a control system. So say, let us assume that we are now drawing a particular control system and now we can represent that control system using certain blocks like this. One block, say like this, and here we are giving a particular input and now here we are getting a particular output. Now again, we can have another block over here and another block over here and maybe another block over here. So this is a block diagram representation of a particular control system. So that is simply what we refer to as the block diagram representation of a control system. That is a pictorial representation of a particular control system using blocks is simply what you refer to as a block diagram representation. So here, in the case of a block diagram representation, there are a few elemental components that are used for the purpose of obtaining the block diagram. So the first such elemental component of a particular block diagram representation is simply a particular block like this. So the obvious elemental component of a block diagram would be a block and this block would have a particular input like this and also it would have a particular output. So if the input is say R of S then the output may be say C of S and this block over here would represent the transfer function G of S. So a transfer function is simply the ratio of the output divided by the input. So this G of S is a transfer function of this particular block. So this is the first elemental component which is simply a particular block. So here a block would have an input to this particular block and it would also have an output and this block represents the transfer function of this particular block which is given as g of s is equal to c of s divided by r of s. The next element that we have is what you refer to as a summing point. So summing point is a junction or is a point that represents the dynamic summing of two or more signals. So here it represents the dynamic summing of two or more signals. So here the summing point is basically a junction point like this. So say here if these two are plus and now here if we have a signal say x1 of s and here if we have another signal say x2 of s then the output over here is obtained as x1 of s plus x2 of s. So here, because we have plus over here on both these signals, both these signals get added and the output is obtained as x1 of s plus x2 of s. But rather, if the summing point had a plus over here and a minus over here, and now if here we had x1 of s and here if we had x2 of s, the output would be obtained as x1 of s minus x2 of s. So this is a summing point which is an elemental component of a block diagram used to represent a particular control system. So here either two signals can be dynamically added together or it can be subtracted together. It is used for the purpose of dynamic summing of two or more signals. As simple as that. And now next we have a branching point. So now let us assume that there is a particular signal say x1 of s that is flowing through a particular system like this. So now we can actually branch this signal x1 of s into another branch like this. And here also we would get x1 of s. And this point over here is what you refer to as a branching point. So say, let us assume that we have a particular signal x1 of s and now we have to split it into four signals, each of x1 of s. And now here, therefore, we take a branching point over here and it is split into four signals like this. And each of these four signals would be the same x1 of s. 
So this is simply what you refer to as a branching point in the case of the block diagram representation of a control system. So these thus are the basic elemental components that are used for the purpose of creating a block diagram for the purpose of representing a particular control system. As simple as that guys, there's nothing more to it. So I hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what you refer to as block diagram representation of a control system. And if you guys found this video informative, please do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button. We'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.